Today, there is only one thing that I want to accomplish. I have this problem. I keep running out of hard drive space. At the beginning of this year, I bought a four terabyte hard drive. I just got back from filming with a client a couple days ago, only to find that that four terabyte hard drive is completely out of space. I decided that this year, instead of spending another couple hundred bucks on a hard drive that's just gonna get filled up quickly, I'd go ahead and try to prepare more for the future by investing in a very simple server system of sorts. I did a fair amount of research and I landed on this company called Synology who make NAS storage, N-A-S, which stands for Network Attached Storage. So essentially what I'll be doing is I'm setting up sort of a cloud, but instead of sending my files to Nevada, you know, into some warehouse with a bunch of hard drives, it will be sent hopefully to right either underneath my desk or possibly on this bookshelf. That's what we're gonna try to figure out today is how to set this thing up, how easy is it? This is the one thing I wanted to do today. There was just one thing on my to-do list. There's plenty to do, but this was the thing that I needed to get done before I can do anything else. We've got our quick installation guide, which should hopefully help us with this whole process. Cables and what's not, power supply, ethernet looks like. Peruse the quick start guide. Okay, yep, pretty easy, pretty simple. Oh, look at that, it's like an accordion. For now, I'm gonna have to run this on my desk because I think the ethernet cable is not gonna reach and I just wanna make sure I get this set up correctly before I set it up uh, across the room over there. So with this particular server, you can order a number of third-party hard drives. As far as I'm aware, you can add up to six 18 terabyte hard drives. And then, if you max out that, you can expand by connecting to another device that has five slots, and I believe you can attach it up to two more of those. So there's actually a lot of room for expansion in the long run. That's the, uh, here we go, there's a hard drive. So now we've got our drives in place, and according to this, we have to plug in the ethernet and then the power. Um, and I'm gonna try going ethernet directly into the computer. It says that you have to plug it into a router, but I think I can do it this way. I'm pretty sure. I did it my way. Six, five, four, three, Let's see if we can, first of all, we'll see if we can see anything on here, I doubt it. A little beep going on there. It says it's searching for Synology devices. No disk station found with LAN. Let's just try it again and see what happens. And then we'll start troubleshooting to figure it out if it doesn't find it which I would not be surprised if it doesn't at first, because, you know, things cannot work perfectly. <laughs> Never mind, it found it. Uh-huh. It's a time lapse of me reading. Here we are three weeks later. I do have it set up here on the bookshelf. Originally, I was thinking of running a cable from here over to the computer. Um, but what I did instead, since I use Google Wi-Fi, I basically just took an extra one of those routers and then I plugged in the uh, ethernet cable directly into the bottom of this. Um, and that is working perfectly. It's a little bit slower, of course, than it would be if it was plugged directly into the computer, but it works well. I can access the files from anywhere. Yeah, that was easy. And that's it. All right, <laughs> bye.